This morning, the wider community is coming together in the face of tragedy, hoping to give one another support after losing two teachers and two students in a school shooting that happened this week during a vigil last night. The community and lawmakers from across the state offered their love, their support and embraces to the victims, families and everyone dealing with trauma in the aftermath of the shooting. 11 Alive's Angelina Salicito has more. Through their sorrow. It's a very strong community. I didn't know it was this strong, but this really showed us. Hundreds in Winder hold each other close. We have to stay very strong. Our hearts may be broken, but our resolve to push on remains strong. In his message of love and strength, Mayor Jimmy Terrell led everyone through a vigil to honor the four lives lost at Appalachian High School Wednesday. Mason Stromholm, Christian Angelo, Christina Herman, Ricky Aspenwald. Please remember them in your prayers. 14-year-old Christian Angulo's family held one another. His dad, Ismael, and mom, Emma, thanked the community with his siblings. He was taken too soon from us. We are so devastated. We appreciate any prayers at this time. Everyone here shares in their grief. There are no words for a moment like this. We have to sit here with one another. God is closest to the brokenhearted. We're broken hearted. As we work together to find that path forward, I just want you to know that we are going to do it together. The school's athletic department and student athlete leadership team will be holding another vigil tomorrow night at 8 on the football field. This morning, students are now asking for changes to be made to keep them safe in the classroom. Some telling us they're still afraid to go back to school, even if they do not attend Appalachia High School. To help ease those fears, the Barrow County School Superintendent released a letter to parents and students saying security and support for students and staff will be stepped up at each of its schools as they try to move forward. School will resume for all students, except for those at Appalachia High School on Tuesday, September 10th. In a new video this morning, Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens is offering his condolences to, to the students, the staff, and families affected by the senseless act of violence in Winder, while also calling for change. Take a listen. We can and must make a different choice. And I, for one, choose to build a world where our kids can go to school with their eyes full of hope and wonder instead of worry. Enough is enough. He went on to talk about gun violence and how this is a quote policy decision made by those in the halls of Congress and that this is unacceptable, saying we need to do better. He also spoke about the urgent need for legislation to prevent something like this from happening again. Now this comes as we're learning from a White House spokesperson that President Joe Biden spoke with Governor Brian Kemp this week to express his condolences and share his prayers with those affected by the shooting while also offering additional assistance to help the community recover from the tragedy. Right now, information surrounding this meeting is limited, but as soon as we learn more, we're sharing share an update on air and online. On Friday morning, morning both sure the suspected the shooter and his father appeared in court. 14 year old Colt Gray faces four counts of felony murder and the district attorney says more charges are expected. Colt's father, Colin Gray, is accused of involuntary manslaughter, second degree murder and child cruelty. According to arrest warrant, he knowingly supplied an AR-15 style weapon to his son despite quote knowing he posed a danger to himself and others. One source telling CNN the AR-15 style rifle was purchased at a local gun store as a quote Christmas present for Colt Gray last December. The GBI is neither confirming or denying that this morning. That is how he got the gun. District Attorney Brad Smith for the Piedmont Judicial Circuit says Colt Gray's case is expected to go before a grand jury. They're expected to meet again on October 17th. In the meantime, both Colt and Colin Gray remain in custody. Now we are staying on top of this ever developing story. Just text the word Appalachia to 404-885-7600. We'll send a link to our full coverage.